I had a personal relationship with him. He mentored a lot of us, especially the young ladies. He was also my lecturer at the law school. And uh, we were privileged because uh, Professor then, Professor Mills then was the commissioner for the Internal Revenue Service. And he lived on campus, so he used to give us a lift. Um, the first three students, law students who would come um, to the Ligon Hall Junction, Professor Mills would pick up. And um, those were very great journeys. From Legon Hall to the law school, Professor would counsel us, we would chat with him, uh, we would debate with him and everything. But at the end of the day, when he got to the exams, he would give us difficult questions. And if he didn't, he would, he would mark strictly. And you'd either get a B or C or A, depending on how well you did. And then Prof became um, a politician and uh, the vice president and then the president. And I, I worked with him. He appointed me onto three boards, uh, Ghana AIDS Commission, um, the Law Reform Commission and the Media Commission. And uh, we had a very good relationship. Very astute lawyer, a great teacher, great, great lecturer and teacher and great politician he he changed into he transitioned into a great politician and what i liked were his, the values that he exuded the integrity the honesty and just being um, himself and just being the father for all his leadership he was very forthright and very knowledgeable he knew exactly what was happening and the solution and results and one of his legacies, even before he became a politi politician, was how he turned around the IRS. When he was handed over the mantle of the IRS, he turned it around. And I'm sure that was why he was um, uh, picked up to be a vice president, though he had had almost no political exposure at that time. He was picked up and he rose up to become president of Ghana. In terms of his leadership as a president, it was being able to tackle the problems and challenges that we faced as a country head on without um, the niceties and then just being able to solve those problems irrespective of what criticism he faced. He focused on solving the problems of Ghana.